Hey, hey there. I just posted this and this weird like banner came up. I don't know how this is posted on Facebook. I should have a look, but anyways. So I am just about to do a live stream in the private uh, Delish Diet group that is for my paid clients who are in the Delish Diet eCourse. And I thought what I would do today is give you a little taste of one of our inner circle live streams that happen in the Delish Diet eCourse. So at some point, what's gonna happen is I'm going to click finish on this uh, because I'm not gonna be giving away the content for free um, in its fullness or entirety um, that my eCourse participants have paid for. So when they buy that eCourse, they get the uh, Delish Diet e-course, all the modules and everything that comes with it, and then live streams inside of the weight or the um, Delish Diet e-course private Facebook group. So that's what I'm doing tonight is a training in there. And uh, also they can ask any questions that they have about the course at any time and get support in that group. So I'm just going to go check here on Facebook to see what you guys are seeing to see if this actually is posted in the right spot. It feels like something weird is going on here. <laughs> I know I was, whatever I was trying to tell you, I'm sure you couldn't conceptualize what Facebook was actually showing me when I went to post this video. Uh, let's see here. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, so what's gonna happen is while I'm doing this training, I'm gonna be looking here at my computer screen. Okay, so, um, and then it's just gonna cut it at some point. I have, oh yeah, that went fine. Okay, it's all good. All right, so now I am going to start this official broadcast. So let's see here. Get, what did I call it? I uh, can't remember. I'm going to put same thing, getting the delish. got my notes <laughs> oh dear it says we're currently experiencing a high load Pre please try again in a few minutes oh dear <laughs> that's ridiculous huh this has never happened before unbelievable I have a scheduled broadcast and I can't even do it in my group okay let's try again I'm gonna refresh this page entirely. Reload site, let's try that. Okay. I will be able to start, okay? All right, so if you're watching this on Facebook, this is a live stream that is happening inside one of my private paid Facebook groups. So I'm gonna be sharing some philosophical concepts about getting the delish diet and then at some point it's just gonna I'm just gonna stop it and uh, because it is for my paid e-course participants all right so here let's see if it'll let me do it again <laughs> come on come on be live TV oh yay it's going <laughs> hey there welcome everyone to this live stream exclusively for the Delish Diet eCourse group. This training I was inspired to give this week, even though it's my rest and renew week, and um, if you guys aren't familiar with that, it's basically a week that I take off every week to focus on rest and renewal so that I'm not totally on all the time. And this week I sort of went off track a little bit with that because the reason is, is next week I'm going to an event called Shine Live here in Kelowna. And uh, all next week I have zero space to hold any live classes or group coaching program uh, facilitating uh, sessions and private sessions. So this week I did a, a little bit more than normal, uh, you know, private sessions with people as well as uh, this live stream, which I just felt inspired to do this week. So. Just before I get into this, the point of taking time aside every single month for at least a week to not feel like you're on 
is because we need that in breath and out breath in our life. There's times where we go, 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 right? And as women, we're always giving. So it tends to be unfortunate that when we keep moving forward like that and not giving back to ourselves and doing that in breath and going inward, that constant out breath basically burns women out. And that's one of the things that will trigger your weight gain. So if you haven't instilled something like this in your life, like I understand if you, you're not completely in control of your schedule, maybe you have a job, there's still other ways that you can set aside the time in your life to really keep a certain week of the month for you. Leave it open. Don't be placing a whole bunch of things in your calendar that you have to do. Okay, so this is something that will make a huge difference in your life. It's that when you have a rhythm in your life like that, it's actually really supportive to your adrenal glands, which are what burns people out essentially is when you're too stressed, it's a, a chronic stress on your adrenal glands, and then people end up with all sorts of um, exhaustion and uh, difficulties with your thyroid, etc. And of course, that leads to excess cortisol and weight gain. So. Um, that is a really important thing to consider. And that is another aspect of doing the delish diet in a way that's actually addressing all of the areas of your life, right? So the delish diet is the mm -hmm. detox, the lifestyle, and the diet. But there's also an aspect to it where you wanna make sure that you're really tending to your circadian rhythms, right, with your sleep proper sleep and proper rhythms in your life and drain and dropping things that are draining you. These are really important aspects of the program that will support you to get results quicker and actually allow you to transform your life in the process. So today I wanted to do this live stream because I wanted to support those of you in the program who have struggled and gotten off track and haven't gotten back on track. And when I think of that being a reality for people, that you would come and take a course and then learn what you need to do to lose the weight in a way that is super easy, not needing to give up rich, creamy, sweet comfort foods, having an eat up day every single week so you can go out, eat with friends, and go to restaurants. In my mind, I'm like, wow, how easy is this? So what is it that people are struggling with that would stop them from actually utilizing what they've learned in this program to transform their health and subsequently weight. And when I imagine that a person could do that, would have this at their fingertips, I'm thinking it's like one of a few things, okay? The reason I titled this Getting the Delish Diet is because on one level, I feel like if that's happening, you don't get the diet, okay? The diet is actually based on what's called a dieta. This word means that you are literally embracing a lifestyle of how you live your life and the food you eat, rather than this idea of a diet that has a beginning and an end, the way you know society puts forth a diet. I just want to remind you that even though this is called a diet, it is not one of those diets because it doesn't end. Okay? So if you had this idea that you're going to do it and then you're going to get to your ideal weight and you're just going to go back to eating some other way, okay, which is usually um, driven by food cravings and nutritional deficiencies and carb binges that lead to wanting more carbs, right? That's the standard North American way of living. That is just not realistic. In order to actually lose the weight permanently, you have to adopt the lifestyle change. Okay, so there's a bunch of different mindsets that are found underneath that philosophically that you need to embrace and to really get that will support you to stay with the program till you get the results. Okay, and then with the maintenance uh, aspect of the Delish Diet program, you can maintain your weight without having to be as strict, right? You can literally, you know, maybe in the beginning you're only doing one eat up day where you include more carbs, but you know, once you hit your ideal weight, you can go two or three days a week and you won't gain any weight, okay? Because your body will have readjusted to this new weight set point 
and your blood sugar will be balanced and you'll be healthy. So eating some carbs a few times a week is not going to cause you to be 20, 30, 50, 60, 100 pounds overweight, right? Because there's a healing process that happens here. So there's more leniency there in the in when you're closer to your ideal weight. So let's look at the philosophy so we get understand and really get this, okay? So I'm actually going to read to you what the word philosophical actually means, and it's perfect for this discussion. So it's devoted to the study of the fundamental nature of knowledge, reality, and existence. Fundamental nature of knowledge, reality, and existence. Most people are completely in a state of non-reality, total like either disillusioned or in a imaginary world when it comes to losing weight, right? This whole idea of doing a diet for a certain amount of time and then the minute you make a mistake or go off, going, oh, that's it, I screwed up. Going off and binging for, you know, however many days or sometimes weeks or months that is till you start again on another Monday with a new diet. That's how most people are actually um, taking their steps toward losing weight. And that's a recipe for failure. It is not going to work. Now, one of the reasons why I would know that a person would not understand the nature of the Delish diet and essentially a proper healthy diet that allows you to maintain a healthy weight because you're actually nourishing your body back into balance is that if you go off and you don't get back on again, is that you don't understand the program, okay? This program is so easy to get back on. And if you're struggling with that, you need to be showing up here in this group and asking questions so I can support you, okay? You invested money in this program to be here. So show up, ask for help. We're here for you, okay? As I grow, I've, I'm hiring people, right? So it's, do not feel like you can't, just because you, know, you started the course a year ago or two years ago even, that if you're off track that you can't come back here and ask questions. That's what the Facebook group is for. It's for you to be able to get support. And I cannot help if I don't know what people are struggling with on an individual level. And believe me, when you show up and you ask a question some, and tell us what you're struggling with, I guarantee you there's other people struggling with the same thing. And when you tell me what you are struggling with, it actually gives me ideas for what I need to add to the course to make it better, to make sure that you understand it, to make sure that you know that even if one day you go off track, that you can literally go back on track the next meal or the next day, right? Because this is a lifestyle, that's how you have to look at it. It's not about failing and then binging for a week and then getting back on on Monday. Okay, or next month, or three months from now, or whatever, going on a new diet, a new fad diet. I cannot stress that enough. So let's get into more of the philosophy underlying the Delish diet so that you can have the mindset that will support you to keep going when you get off track. Because let's be totally honest here. Let's be Realistic, right? Nobody eats perfect. If you have to eat perfect, then your diet is not going to be something you can stick with for your lifetime. And that is the point of this program, is for you to learn how to eat, to learn what works for your body and what doesn't work for your body, to help you maintain overall health, and then as a natural good side effect of that, how, attaining your ideal weight and staying there permanently. Okay, so the first philosophy is that you have to put your health first. Weight loss second. Your body is the master and it is the, the it, you have a, something called your vital healing force. That is the force inside of you that is operating outside of your awareness that knows what's the most important thing for your body to be healthy. So if it decides that it needs to prioritize something else, 
that doesn't result in weight loss on the scale, well then so be it. Because you're actually never going to get to that weight loss unless that thing gets addressed health-wise. So we have to really accept that our body in its innate wisdom decides the speed of our weight loss. The only way that you can speed up that process is by speeding up or being more extreme about taking on a more therapeutic approach, meaning that you would go on the cleanse, okay? So in the program, you're, if you go to the um, e-course section and you click on Quick Start Cleanse, that's where you can basically simplify the diet, okay? Take out things like dairy, for example, for a certain amount of weeks, the typical inflammatory foods, and you will lose weight quickly. But in the process of that, you're actually bringing inflammation systemically down in your body and getting healthier at the same time, right? So there are ways, of course, to speed it up, but they're working not because you're restricting calories or you're exercising, they're working because your body is going into healing mode and the inflammation is going down. It's able to actually release water. It's able to... Um, you know, your fat cells can actually release the fat because your liver is no longer toxic and overburdened because of the cleanse, okay? So if you haven't worked with the cleanse yet, make sure you go there and check that out. All right, so number two, whatever you have to do to lose the weight, you're going to have to keep doing that to maintain that weight loss, okay? The reason why is uh, obvious, right? Because if you don't keep doing it, then you are doing something else that's not healthy, okay? Notice that anybody, say for example, you watch something like The Biggest Loser, and those people restrict their calories so intensely and they exercise themselves to the bone. And when they stop doing that, what happens? They gain the weight back. That, it happens in every single, every single time, right? Like why argue with reality? So if you don't want to have to exercise yourself to death and you know, restrict calories, we can't do that anyways because your, your body goes into starvation mode or excess cortisol stress and like fights back and people don't lose weight anyways, right? So that we know that won't work. So why not just relax about it, okay? Choose an approach that works, that allows you to lose weight in a moderate pace, which is what the Delish Diet does for you, okay, but you have to stick with it. It doesn't work if you don't do it. All right, number three, the slower you lose the weight, the more permanent your results are, okay? So this is another thing that people philosophically have a resistance to, right? Let's just make it really simple. You can keep doing what you're doing and not lose any weight, or you can do some sort of like restriction of your calories or over-exercising, lose some weight quickly and you know, be satisfied in this moment, but then because you can't keep up that exercise and you can't continue to deprive yourself, you're gonna go back to something and it's gonna be that rebound effect, right? That causes you to want to just like binge, right? Because you're basically your body thinks it's starving and it drives you to do that in response to starving yourself. Right? Even if you're not, you know, you're eating pretty decently, but if you restrict your calories for too long, your body will think that you're starving. So, you know, you can have that happen over and over and over again. Okay, if you've been struggling with your weight for a long time, you know that's the pattern. It just does that all, you just, we just keep doing that over and over. Or you can accept that if you continue to do what brings your body into greater balance, you will lose weight without huge promises that it's a ton of weight, okay? What if all you did was lose one pound a month, okay? Now I'm saying like you're super resistant, okay? You've been overweight for a really long time, but in this year you just lost one pound a month or one pound, um, sorry, a week, okay? What if you just lost, I know that, well, at the end of the day, actually, even if you just lost one pound a month and you were 12 pounds lighter next year than you were, than you were gonna be, instead of gaining the other way from not actually changing your diet and lifestyle and getting healthier, well, you could be 10 pounds, 12 pounds heavier next year, or you could be 12 pounds lighter. That's at the most extreme, you know, thing. But a person can lose about a pound to two pounds, up to four pounds in a month, 
And like, let's do the math on that, okay? Let's go, let's just say all you did was you lost four pounds every month for the next year. Wow, 48 pounds down. If you lose it that quickly and you maintain this lifestyle, which is not difficult to maintain, okay, once you have the mindset blocks out of the way and you actually change the environment in your home, you are literally going to be 48 pounds lighter. That's a lot. That is a lot. That's almost like that's for a lot of people that'll be five or six dress sizes. Okay. And not having to do anything extreme. It's amazing. You know, if we were to just accept that we actually will be at our goal faster than we expect yet we could be 10 years from now, the same weight or heavier by not accepting the speed that natural, permanent, sustainable weight loss actually happens. It's really about accepting it. You have to accept this. And if you wanna speed it up, you just go back to the cleanse. Take yourself to a next level. Or just don't even you know, do the full cleanse, just take out dairy for a bit, that helps, right? You don't have to stay off of it forever, just go back on it, right? And there's, of course, other things that I talk about in the program that you can use to help you blast past plateaus. And if you don't know which one to use, then you know, ask some questions in the Facebook group. Or if you need a personalized approach, message me here on Facebook and you can book a private session and we'll go into your unique situation to find out which approach would be the best for you to help you to get past a plateau. Okay, so number four, I already actually mentioned this, that this is not a diet. Although we call it a diet, I have to call it a diet because for the purpose of getting it into the hands of the right people, people who desire to lose weight, I need to use a word that people know what it is, okay? If I use the word dieta, even though that's really what this is, it represents a transformation in your diet and lifestyle and a lifestyle that supports overall health, then people that needed it wouldn't know what it was or that it was for them, okay? So don't get caught on the idea of this being a diet because it is not a typical diet. All right, so I'm going to be moving on to the next aspect of this, okay? So what this is, 